Hey ha und willkommen zurück, ihr lieben Leutchens, bei The Wolf Among Us. Es wird spannend, wir kommen zum Crooked Man. Jetzt geht wahrscheinlich gleich die Post ab. Ein mysteriöser schwarzer Taxifahrer. So, was haben wir denn hier? Schauen wir uns erstmal das Auto an, würde ich sagen. Die Limousine, Entschuldigung, Entschuldigung. Still warm. He's here, all right. Irgendwas Interessantes hier. Auch. Nee. Das heißt, ab geht's. Ich dachte gerade, meine Maus spinnt ein bisschen rum. Of course. Äh, bop, 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 bop. Kaboom! Hey, es gab keinen Sound, als die Tür sich geschlossen hat. Ich bin echt ein bisschen aufgeregt. Ich bin mal gespannt, was jetzt passiert. Mal nach links. Schauen wir uns an, was wir hier so haben. So, this is where they've been sending these. The best safety device is a careful worker. <lacht> Perfekt. Oh, ich glaube, ich werde erwartet. Oder ist es ein Bewegungsmelder, eins von beiden? Servus, Grüezi und Hallo. Warum enden solche Sachen immer in irgendeiner Fabrik? The big bad wolf. Schön, dass ihr mich seht, aber ich euch nicht. Was ist das? Ist das irgendwie ein Sarkophag oder so? You used to be something. Ist jetzt irgendwie gemein. Oh. Da hat jemand auf jeden Fall gut Fotos gemacht. They used to fear you. Das tun sie immer noch. Ich gehe mal ein bisschen schneller. Was haben die vor? Bleichmittel? Ich traue mich nicht um die Ecke zu gehen, aber ich muss. Was erwartet mich hier? Was erwartet mich hier? Workbench. Oh, Silberkugeln. Silver. The big bad wolf. Au. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you've finished here. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure we'll persuade him. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? Ah! Du kämpfst auch mit unfairen Mitteln, Bitch. Zum Beispiel das hier. Ist das nicht ein bisschen unfair, sich unsichtbar zu machen? Dann kann ich dich auch anfangen zu schlagen, wenn du mir den Rücken zugedreht hast. Alte Wunden, ey. Ich steige mich, glaube ich, gerade wieder zu sehr da hinein. 
Dieses Rad gefällt mir nicht. Geil. Ich kann gar nicht... Uiuiuiuiui. So schnell kann ich gar nicht reagieren. Wollt ihr mich eigentlich verarschen? Ich hab doch gedrückt. Ich hab gedrückt. Ich hab nicht gedrückt. Where are you? Come out and face me! Boah, sieht die cool aus. Sieht ja richtig cool aus, aber mega gruselig auch. Das Geräusch erinnert mich an irgendwas. An was erinnert mich das Geräusch? Das war doch schon mal in irgendeinem Film, wo irgendwelche Untote ein Geräusch gemacht haben. Oh, ich muss das halten. Jetzt lass uns tanzen, ne? Spiegelweib. Äh. Ein bisschen unfair? Also ich empfinde es als unfair. Das sind ein bisschen zu viele. doch alles, was ich drücken muss und trotzdem wird der dauernd. Habe ich jetzt verloren? Oh, wow, wow. Was? Nein. Wie cool. Oh, es gab noch eine, eine Version drüber. Also noch eine Final Version sozusagen. Oh, er sieht ja so cool aus. Da kommen immer mehr, ey. Ich muss mich gerade so mega konzentrieren. Komm, gibt es jetzt noch eine Version? Ach nee, er hat eine super Attacke. Na, das ist auch praktisch. Ach so, und er hustet und pustet und pustet. Bis das Haus in sich zusammenfällt und er an die drei kleinen Schweinchen kommen. Bis die drei kleinen Schweinchen sich in einem Steinhaus verstecken, 
und der böse Wolf die Tür nicht mehr einpusten kann. Oh, wie schön. Ein süßer Wolf. Das war gerade der epische ähm, Endfight und ich erzähle einfach mal die Geschichte von den drei kleinen Schweinchen. Also sag jetzt nicht, dass er noch eine Hose an hat. Das wäre jetzt ein bisschen unrealistisch. Komm, zeig uns einen schönen Big B Knack Po. Wenigstens im Po. War richtig cool, dass der noch so eine weitere Evolutionsstufe hat, sozusagen. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of special. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You plan to do what she says, don't you? That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind, and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people, it's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in, but you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, let's Snow go. White Hand over lebend. the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. Wenigstens schlagen möchte ich ihn. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> And your punishment will follow. 
Ich sollte ihn lebendig zurückbringen, aber das Schlagen lasse ich mir nicht nehmen. Das hat er nämlich verdient. Jetzt bin ich wirklich gespannt, was er zu seiner Verteidigung zu sagen hat. Ohne Müll. I know, I know. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? What is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> The crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. Aww. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could what you? do you have to say for Where yourself? Where the fuck do you get These off? You think you have the right and to just do this to people? You're a fucking crook! This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shit hole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder As of I Faith already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White, but I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. Bigby, is that true? Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? I killed him. He's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. He went willingly. Yes, thank you. Now is there anything you would like to so say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell you Stop didn't. the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where realm. it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get on But with it. We promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really going This to is let about him talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. 
He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This is such bullshit! He's always been a bit of a powder keg. It was only a matter of time before something like this happened. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Helpful isn't the word I would use. My comrades are another matter. And I'm sorry for the predicament they put you in. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. What's he talking about? I really hope you're going somewhere with this. I see you want to cut right to the point. I can appreciate that. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free, she wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? We didn't abandon anyone. We've been trying to help them. Really? What about Archie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living. Provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much. But they asked me to come work for them. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor. No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? Snow? I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk oh, about this. Oh, we're not? Big B just This is important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. Boy. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Like you did with her? Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. We're trying to stop people like him. The Crooked Man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. 
You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. Do you really think the Crooked Man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The Sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? So, are we done? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just Of need... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him- Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Yes, you're responsible. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle Dee when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. What? You think you shouldn't be held accountable? Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I the know- The laws apply when we need them Bluebeard, to. please. What's that supposed to mean? That's I not mean, true. I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to- To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wonder? she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We Und... Das ist richtig fies, ich weiß. Und ich genieße es gerade aus vollen Zügen, dass ich so sadistisch bin. Was sie zu sagen hat, sehen wir im nächsten Part von Wolf Among Us. Wenn es euch gefallen hat, dürft ihr gerne einen Daumen nach oben geben oder abonnieren. Und dann sehen wir uns im nächsten Part wieder. Bis dann!